Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the new Bulgarian civilization's unique building, the Cray Post. It's easy to think of it as a half castle, but how do they really measure up? Side by side, you can see the Cray Post is slightly smaller and about half the cost. How they managed to build that entire fortress out of a small pile of stone will always remain a mystery. In terms of their build time, Krapos take 150 seconds for one villager to construct, compared to a castle's 200. As a benchmark, Krapos take about double the time to construct as a tower. Obviously, you'll normally construct it with more than one villager, but the point is it's built when a normal castle would only be at 75%. That automatically gives it a big leg up when trying to drop one in your opponent's town. For example, with 15 villagers, it can be built in 26 seconds, as opposed to 35 seconds for a castle. That's a big difference in how long your opponent has to respond. A fast construction is important because it lets you get a foothold in a location, which means your villagers can be defended while building something else. Don't forget it can also be garrisoned, just like a castle with up to 20 units, which also increases the number of arrows through a mechanic I've described in length before. So assuming you've built a cray post, let's take a look at how much damage it can do. Despite being roughly half the cost of a castle, it has significantly more than half the attack. It does anywhere from 82 to 87% of the damage output depending on upgrades with the same fire rate, giving them very comparable attack power. The castle does have one more base range, giving it 20 to 30% more area of control with the same upgrades. That being said, Bulgarian Cray Posts end up with the same range as non-Bracer Castles though, which still outrange most units. Overall, I'd say their offensive potential isn't that much worse than the castle. It's certainly nowhere close to half the strength, which right away gives a bit of an overpowered vibe. That's not the only aspect to consider though, so let's take a look at its defensive strength. We can see this is where it starts to look like a diet castle. Their starting 2600 HP is just 54% of the regular castle's 4800. That does scale up with masonry and architecture, but is never as strong as even a base castle. Bulgarians don't have hoardings for extra castle HP, so we don't need to factor that in. The armor is also identical, so it's pretty straightforward to compare. Altogether, in practice, that means even a single capped ram with siege engineers can bring a cray post down, while a castle ends with around half its health remaining. Likewise, trebuchets or any other similar siege are a much greater threat, with trebuchets taking them out 5-6 to six shots sooner. Krapos also can't make their own trebuchets in response, making them even more vulnerable in that situation. But speaking of which units they can create, they're not quite as passive as towers, and yet not as multifunctional as castles. They can create the Bulgarian's unique unit, but can't upgrade it or get any other units or techs. The trebuchet in particular seems like a clear omission to encourage Bulgarians to at least build a castle or two in the late game. Even in Castle Age, their unique tech gives Conics faster attack, so whether you make a castle or just cray posts can have a big impact on how well your unique unit performs. For the sake of trebuchets, conscription, the elite conic, and its attack speed increase, at least one castle is a must, even if its role is exclusively for research and trebuchets. Just a couple of other features about the building I want to point out. Yes, it gives not just 20 garrison space for villagers, but also 20 extra housing space. Unlike a castle, it can be converted, and it does fulfill the castle age building requirements to advance to Imperial. Though, before you ask, no, Bulgarians don't get it in all tech games. My overall impression is that when it comes to offensive potential, it's much more than half a castle. It's built faster and has an almost identical damage output with just one less range. Even the range constraint is easily offset by its cheaper cost, letting you build almost two for the price of one. After the first one is up, you can use that to protect the building of the second, covering more of your opponent's town than any one castle could, while at the same time letting you quickly spam conics. As a defensive deterrent to raiding, there's really no downside either, since the lower HP isn't going to factor in. That being said, once they're under attack by siege, they will go down in half the time, and can't make trebuchets of their own. Because of that, I think castles will still have a role in holding important locations, as well as performing research and creating trebuchets. The fact that Bulgarians have access to both means you'll be able to decide which building fits the needs you have at a particular location. A random stone pile on the map that you don't want raided, just build a cray post to protect your villagers. An important hill outside of your opponent's base where there could be a treb war, maybe make a castle. The fact that it has a few factors to balance and isn't just cutting all of the castle stats in half, I think makes for more interesting decisions. 
It's definitely strong, but not a complete replacement for the castle, which I think is the right approach to a new building like this. But those are just my thoughts on the Cray Post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.